Chapter 29 Structure of Skeletal Muscle Muscle mass Muscle mass or muscle tissue is made up of a large number of individual muscle cells or myocytes. The muscle cells are commonly called muscle fibers because these cells are long and slender in appearance. Skeletal muscle fibers are multinucleated and are arranged parallel to one another with some connective tissue in between, Fig 29.1. Muscle mass is separated from the neighboring tissues by a thick fibrous tissue layer known as fascia. Beneath the fascia, muscle is covered by a connective tissue sheath called epimysium. In the muscle, the muscle fibers are arranged in various groups called bundles or fasciculi. Connective tissue sheath that covers each fasciculus is called paramysium. Each muscle fiber is covered by a connective tissue layer called the endomysium, Fig 29.2. Muscle fiber Each muscle cell or muscle fiber is cylindrical in shape. Average length of the fiber is 3 cm. It varies between 1 cm and 4 cm, depending upon the length of the muscle. The diameter of the muscle fiber varies from 10 to 100. The diameter varies in a single muscle. Muscle fibers are attached to a tough cord of connective tissue called tendon. Tendon is in turn attached to the bone. Tendon of some muscles is thin, flat, and stretched but tough. Such type of tendon is called aponeurosis. Each muscle fiber is enclosed by a cell membrane called plasma membrane, that lies beneath the endomesum. It is also called sarcolemma, Fig 29.3. Cytoplasm of the muscle is known as sarcoplasm. Structures embedded within the sarcoplasm are, nuclei, myofibril, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, sarcoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, glycogen droplets, occasional lipid droplets. Each muscle fiber has got one or more nuclei. In long muscle fibers, many nuclei are seen. Nuclei are oval or elongated and situated just beneath the sarcolemma. Usually in other cells, the nucleus is in the interior of the cell. All the organelles of muscle fiber have the same functions as those of other cells. Myofibril. Myofibrils or myofibrili are the fine parallel filaments present in sarcoplasm of the muscle cell. Myofibrils run through the entire length of the muscle fiber. In the cross section of a muscle fiber, the myofibrils appear like small distinct dots within the sarcoplasm. Diameter of the myofibril is 0.2 to 2. The length of a myofibril varies between 1 cm and 4 cm, depending upon the length of the muscle fiber, Table 29.1. In some muscle fibers, some of the myofibrils are arranged in groups called Konehames areas or fields. Microscopic structure of a myofibril. Light microscopic studies show that, each myofibril consists of a number of two alternating bands which are also called the sections, segments, or discs. These bands are formed by muscle proteins. The two bands are, light band or I band. Dark band or A band. Light band or I band. Light band is called I, isotropic, band because it is isotropic to polarized light. When polarized light is passed through the muscle fiber at this area, light rays are refracted at the same angle. Dark band or a band. Dark band is called a, anisotropic, band because it is anisotropic to polarized light. When polarized light is passed through the muscle fiber at this area, the light rays are refracted at different directions, and equals not, ISO equals it tros equals tumming. Dark band is also called Q disc. Quer shibe equals cross disc. In an intact muscle fiber, I band and a band of the adjacent myofibrils are placed side by side. It gives the appearance of characteristic cross striations in the muscle fiber. I band is divided into two portions, by means of a narrow and dark line called Z line or Z disc, in German, Zwischenscheib equals between discs. The Z line is formed by a protein disc, which does not permit passage of light. The portion of myofibril in between two Z lines is called sarcomere. Sarcomere. Definition. Sarcomere is defined as the structural and functional unit of a skeletal muscle. It is also called the basic contractile unit of the muscle. Extent. 
each sarcomere extends between two Z-lines of myofibril. Thus, each myofibril contains many sarcomeres arranged in series throughout its length. When the muscle is in relaxed state, the average length of each sarcomere is 2 to 3. Components Each myofibril consists of an alternate dark A-band and light I-band, Fig 29.4. In the middle of a band, there is a light area called H-zone, H equals Hell equals light, in German, H equals Hansen, discoverer. In the middle of H-zone lies the middle part of myosin filament. This is called M-line, in German middle equals middle. M-line is formed by myosin binding proteins. Electron microscopic study of sarcomere. Electron microscopic studies reveal that the sarcomere consists of many thread-like structures called myofilaments. Myofilaments are of two types, actin filaments. Myosin filaments. Actin filaments. Actin filaments are the thin filaments with a diameter of 20 A and a length of 1. These filaments extend from either side of the Z lines, run across I band and enter into a band up to H zone. Myosin filaments. Myosin filaments are thick filaments with a diameter of 115 A and a length of 1.5. These filaments are situated in a band. Cross bridges. Some lateral processes, projections, called cross bridges arise from each myosin filament. These bridges have enlarged structures called myosin heads at their tips. Myosin heads attach themselves to actin filaments. These heads pull the actin filaments during contraction of the muscle, by means of a mechanism called sliding mechanism or ratchet mechanism. During the contraction of the muscle, the actin filaments glide down between the myosin filaments towards the center of H zone and approach the corresponding actin filaments from the next Z line, Fig 29.5. The Z lines also approach the ends of myosin filaments, so that the H zone and I bands are shortened during contraction of the muscle. During the relaxation of the muscle, the actin filaments and Z lines come back to the original position. Contractile elements, proteins, of muscle. Myosin filaments are formed by myosin molecules. Actin filaments are formed by three types of proteins called actin, tropomyosin, and troponin. These four proteins together constitute the contractile proteins or the contractile elements of the muscle. Myosin molecule. Each myosin filament consists of about 200 myosin molecules. Though about 18 classes of myosin are identified, only myosin 2 is present in the sarcomere. Myosin 2 is a globulin with a molecular weight of 480,000. Each myosin molecule is made up of six polypeptide chains, of which two are heavy chains and four are light chains, Fig 29.5. Molecular weight of each heavy chain is 200,000, 2 times 200,000 equals 400,000. Molecular weight of each light chain is 20,000, 4 times 20,000 equals 80,000. Thus, total molecular weight of each myosin molecule is 480,000, 400,000 plus 80,000. Portions of myosin molecule. Each myosin molecule has two portions, tail portion head portion. Tail portion of myosin molecule it is made up of two heavy chains, which twist around each other in the form of a double helix, Fig 29.6. Head portion of myosin molecule at one end of the double helix, both the heavy chains turn away in opposite directions and form the globular head portion. Thus the head portion has two parts. Two light chains are attached to each part of the head portion of myosin molecule, Fig 29.6. Each myosin head has two attachment sites. One site is for actin filament and the other one is for 1 ADP molecule, Fig 29.7. Myosin head is absent in the central part of myosin filament, i.e. in the H zone. Actin molecule. Actin molecules are the major constituents of the thin actin filaments. Each actin molecule is called F-actin and it is the polymer of a small protein known as G-actin. There are about 300 to 400 actin molecules in each actin filament. The molecular weight of each molecule is 42,000. The actin molecules in the actin filament are also arranged in the form of a double helix. 
Each F-actin molecule has an active site to which the myosin head is attached, Fig 29.8. Tropomyosin. Dot about 40 to 60 tropomyosin molecules are situated along the double helix strand of actin filament. Each tropomyosin molecule has the molecular weight of 70,000. In relaxed condition of the muscle, the tropomyosin molecules cover all the active sites of F-actin molecules. Troponin. It is formed by three subunits, troponin I, which is attached to F-actin. Troponin T, which is attached to tropomyosin troponin C, which is attached to calcium ions. Other proteins of the muscle in addition to the contractile proteins, the sarcomere contains several other proteins such as, actinin, which attaches actin filament to Z-line. Desmin, which binds Z-line with sarcolemma. Nebulin, which runs in close association with and parallel to actin filaments. Titin, a large protein connecting M-line and Z-line. Each titin molecule forms scaffolding, framework, for sarcomere and provides elasticity to the muscle when the muscle is stretched, the titin unfolds itself. However, if the stretching is more, it offers resistance and protects the sarcomere from overstretching. Dystrophin a rod-shaped large protein that connects actin filament to dystroglycan. Dystroglycan is a transmembrane protein, present in the sarcolemma. Dystrophin and dystroglycan form dystrophin-dystroglycan or dystrophin-glycoprotein complex. Sarcotubular system. Sarcotubular system is a system of membranous structures in the form of vesicles and tubules in the sarcoplasm of the muscle fiber. It surrounds the myofibrils embedded in the sarcoplasm, Fig 29.9. Structures constituting the sarcotubular system. Sarcotubular system is formed mainly by two types of structures, one T-tubules. Two L-tubules or sarcoplasmic reticulum. T-tubules. T-tubules or transverse tubules are narrow tubules formed by the invagination of the sarcolemma. These tubules penetrate all the way from one side of the muscle fiber to an another side. That is, these tubules penetrate the muscle cell through and through. Because of their origin from sarcolemma, the T-tubules open to the exterior of the muscle cell. Therefore, the ECF runs through their lumen. L-tubules or sarcoplasmic reticulum. L-tubules or longitudinal tubules are the closed tubules that run in long axis of the muscle fiber, forming sarcoplasmic reticulum. These tubules form a closed tubular system around each myofibril and do not open to exterior like T-tubules. L-tubules correspond to the endoplasmic reticulum of other cells. At regular intervals, throughout the length of the myofibrils, the L-tubules dilate to form a pair of lateral sacs called terminal cisterni. Each pair of terminal cisterni is in close contact with T-tubule. The T-tubule along with the cisterni on either side is called the triad of skeletal muscle. In human skeletal muscle, the triads are situated at the junction between a band and I band. Calcium ions are stored in L-tubule and the amount of calcium ions is more in cisterni. Functions of sarcotubular system Function of T-tubules T-tubules are responsible for rapid transmission of impulse in the form of action potential from sarcolemma to the myofibrils. When muscle is stimulated, the action potential develops in sarcolemma and spreads through it. Since T-tubules are the continuation of sarcolemma, the action potential passes through them and reaches the interior of the muscle fiber rapidly. Function of L-tubules L-tubules store a large quantity of calcium ions. When action potential reaches the cisterni of L-tubule, the calcium ions are released into the sarcoplasm. Calcium ions trigger the processes involved in contraction of the muscle. The process by which the calcium ions cause contraction of muscle is called excitation-contraction coupling, Chapter 31. Composition of Muscle Skeletal muscle is formed by 75% of water and 25% of solids. Solids are 20% of proteins and 5% of organic substances other than proteins and inorganic substances, Fig 29.10. Among the proteins, the first eight proteins are already described in this chapter. 
myoglobin is present in sarcoplasm. It is also called myohemoglobin. Its function is similar to that of hemoglobin, that is, to carry oxygen. It is a conjugated protein with a molecular weight of 17,000.